and welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. You know, we have many state agencies, and normally you go to a state agency and it may be going through a quagmire to try to get an answer on anything. Not so at the office of the Secretary of State. And today we're very happy to have John Merrill, the Secretary of State, back with us, buddy. And, you know, I'm saying this from total experience. Yes, sir. When I call your office, everybody can make a decision. Yes, sir. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, a lot of times you call and, and you're, you're never on hold. I'll yes, put sir. it to you that way. And uh, basically, in your office, a lot of things go through that office. Yes, sir. But the thing I think that most, most people watching this show, most Alabamians, are concerned about is they have their ability to vote. Yes, sir. And making sure that we're going to have good votes. Yes, sir. And, you know, there's two things that we like to say about our office, Jack. Number one is that when it comes to business services, uh, we don't operate at the speed of government. We operate at the speed of business. <laughs> Amen. And you do. Yes, sir. Yes. And then as far as our integrity of our elections process, mm -hmm. we like people to know that we just want to make it easy to vote and hard to cheat in Alabama. Well, I'm going to give you a good example that our viewers know. In 2020, after that election, one state in the entire union got a A and an A plus for their handling of the election to the state of Alabama. Yes, sir. We're sometimes 49th here, 48th yes, sir. here. We're number one, and that's a very important yes, area. And that's the first time in the history of the state that's ever occurred. So yeah. we take a lot of pride in that. And of course, I get the credit for that being the chief elections official, but You've got a I good think, team. well, and we need to know this, yes. and all your viewers need to know this, that the most important thing about understanding the process is that it's our team in the office of the Secretary of State in Montgomery, right. but it's the 68 probate judges, it's the 68 circuit clerks, it's the 67 sheriffs in the 67 counties, and it's the 201 registrars and the more than 6,000 poll workers at our 1,980 mm -hmm. polling sites that make that happen. Right, but another thing they need to know is that you visited every one of those counties. Yes, sir. And you met with every one of those probate yes, judges. Yes, sir. So they knew the game, they knew the, the game rules. Yes, sir, and we still do that. You yes. know, as of today, uh, Jack, since January the 1st of this year, I've been to 54 of our 67 wow. counties, and I've had 246 visits to those 54 counties. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we're going to get all 67 again this year unless something happens that we don't right. expect. But uh, when we were able to make all 67 last year with COVID, we felt like we'd probably be able to whip it any time. Okay. So it seems like there's a move afoot nationally to try to have polls or elections controlled from a national perspective. Yes, sir. Probably a bad idea. It is a very bad idea, yes. and it's not something that we want. Of course, we are a democratic republic. Mm -hmm. We're made up of 50 states, and we want to make sure that each one of those 50 states can conduct their own elections the way that they want to, mm -hmm. and then that there's a central reporting mechanism in each one of those states. There are certain federal standards and guidelines that should be followed to make sure that no one is being... Um, kept from participating yes, in the process yes. the way that they ought to be able to right. or the way that they would desire to. Mm -hmm. But as far as having national standards that make it consistent where everybody's on the same voter rolls, that's a universal mm -hmm. national voter roll or national operative procedures for the elections, we're not supportive of that because mm -hmm. we think that as a republic, yes. each state is responsible for the administration of their own election. What, what can our viewers do to if they've got relatives in other states. Because I think this is the time right now that they need to get to their legislators and say, we want this done in a certain Jack, way. Jack, absolutely. And what we want to do is to make sure that each state is following established state laws and adhering to the federal standards that have been adopted by the Congress. So if any of our viewers have friends or relatives that live in other states and they want to make sure their elections are safe and secure, they need to continue to promote that narrative mm -hmm. to their members of their legislative bodies so that they're adopting those legislative acts that will enable them to have a safe, secure, sound election. Great. One thing before you leave that I want yes, our sir. viewers to know, in the state of Alabama, 96% of people that are eligible to vote 
are on the voting rolls. Well, 96% of all eligible African Americans okay. that, are reg that are eligible are registered to vote. 91% of whites, 94% of all eligible oh. Alabamians okay. are okay. registered okay. to right vote. Right in that yes, sir. I know yes, sir. it was all up in the 90s, which is great. Yes, sir. So nobody can say that nothing went right. That's right. Okay, and just remember this, the Secretary of State's office is there for you. They are a public servant and they do serve in that capacity. We'll be right back right after this.